Now that you know how to identify if a certain expression is a rational expression or not, it's time to learn about the restricted values of rational expressions. Since rational expression indicates division, you have to remember that the denominator must not be equal to zero. Because if the denominator is equal to zero, the expression would be considered as undefined. And the value that will make the denominator of the rational expression equal to zero is what you call as restricted value. Please take note that a rational expression may have more than one restricted values. Now, let us try to identify the restricted value or values of the following rational expressions. For the first given, 3 minus x over x plus 2, you have to identify the value of the variable in the denominator, which would make it 0, because that would be your restricted value. So to do that, you have to have this equation. x plus 2 is not equal to 0. From here, we have to apply the addition property of equality. So to be able to get the value of x that would make the denominator equal to 0, add negative 2 to both sides and it will give us x is not equal to negative 2. So that number would be the restricted value. And this would be written in the set notation which would give us the set of x such that x is not equal to negative 2. For the second given, 1 over x minus y, again, you have to identify the value of the variable in the denominator, which would make it zero, because that would be the restricted value. So get the entire denominator and put it this way. So it would be x minus y is not equal to y. So since we are solving for the restricted value of x first, it would be adding positive y to both sides. So it would give us x is not equal to y. And since this shows reflexive property, y should not be equal to x as well. And to write that in a set notation, this would give us the set of x such that x is not equal to y. That shows reflexive property already. For the third given, x plus 5 over x squared plus x, again, to be able to solve for the restricted value, you have to get the entire denominator and then put it this way. So it would be x squared plus x is not equal to zero. But for cases like this, you have to analyze the given expression because sometimes you can still apply factoring. And when you look at x squared plus x, you can do common monomial factor here, wherein the common factor is x. So therefore, this expression would now become x times the quantity of x plus 1, which is not equal to 0. Then from here, we now have two given factors, the x and the x plus 1. So for this given, there would be two given restrictions. So we're going to solve for the restriction of the first factor first, which is x. So when we equate that, x is not equal to 0. Whereas for the second factor, so x plus 1 is not equal to 0, apply the addition property of equality, so add negative 1 to both sides. So this would give us x is not equal to negative 1. So this solution gives us two restricted values, which are 0 and negative 1. So when you write it in a set notation, it would be the set of x such that x is not equal to 0 or negative 1. Now, open your Schoology and try to identify the restricted value or values of the following rational expressions.